Let's We're not gonna? No waste. Let's do this. Persona! <sighs> Don't make fun of me! You're, you're nothing against me! Why all this? For who? Yourself. Let's do this. Are you okay? What happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But, but. Huh? He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, I kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. I, um, it's true that part of me feels that way. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? All right, let's get back to the entrance, though. It's dangerous around here. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. I'm not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... 
Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here, and that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean, they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now. We've come so far. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's... You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. worries. We're definitely going to save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. I, uh, I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's going to split open. Are you guys okay? right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah, what's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tum ta dum I got a pair ready for Chie-chan too. Here you go! Whoa, what the? This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now! You didn't tell me she was coming! It was all so sad and... I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it alright if I keep these? So show! We'll have to stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? Yeah, I agree. I promise to. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now.
Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there... Anything you're not telling me? Is something bothering you? Believe me, I, I do feel bad that I've been too caught up with work for us to have time to talk. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you, so don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh... She's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind.
You're back. I wonder how Chi is doing. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. Oh, morning. Yep. Um. Um. Thanks for everything yesterday. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? You two were right there to see my hidden feelings and all. Don't sweat it. The same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh, how, how should I put this? Oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Hmm. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? Oh, so nothing happened for you? I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. I don't know. Whoa, what are you talking about? <laughs> Don't do it! He'll get arrested again! Anyways, what's most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. I'm dead set on coming. Remember, you promised. Oh crap, I still haven't gone to the bathroom! Hey, um... Thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but there really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. Right. You'll need this from now on, huh? We have to be careful of the fog that sets in after the rain, right? Let's save her before that happens.
Okay, is everyone here? Don't worry, we can do this! 